welcome to this episode of Superior Angling. We are up here on the infamous Lake Nipigon, late September, early morning, calm winds, anticipation's high. These lake trout are, I mean, the, the only reason we're up here right now is to chase trophy lake trout. That's why you come here. You have high hopes, high expectations. The percentage rate of failure is also high, but it's a go big or go home, swing for the fences type of bite. The plan for today is to cast swim baits in very, very shallow water. Um, water that you're not gonna be able to reach via trolling methods. So we're talking two, three, four feet of water. That's where these lake trout are this time of year. They're up shallow, they're spawning. We're gonna be casting big white swim baits, Storm 360s and such. Up into the shallows for these fish, stick with us. It's gonna get intense. Fish, big fish. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Big fish, big fish. Now that's a sweet October musky. Fish, 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 fish. That's a big Atlantic, boys. All right, we have made it. A little bit windy out here, a little cold, but that's usually a good thing, because cold weather, when your hands are numb, it usually means big fish and good fishing. So what we have here behind us is a kind of a shoal that comes out from this from this shoreline structure. Shallow here, eight feet right here. Um, we're gonna push in even shallower, but we can't spook these fish. So we're gonna kind of work down and work our way up, kind of go into the wind. Always going into the wind, you're gonna have more boat control. I never fish a piece of structure upwind of it because that wind's gonna push you down over the top of it. You have zero boat control. Always work into the wind. Yes, it makes casting a little more difficult, but you can deal with it. So um, we're gonna kind of dip in here. Two rules on Lake Nipigon. Rule number one, pinch your barbs. Make sure that you rub your finger up on it. They don't get stuck. Pinch them nice down, nice and good. That's about good right there. Rule number two, if you get bit, don't lose the fish because uh, any fish can be the fish of a lifetime out here. Fish, 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 fish. Oh. I love no! Look at the tail swirl from him. <sighs> Holy, big follow, big follow. <laughs> it looked gray like oh, a trout. Right there, trout right there. Come trout? On, yep. Big one? Yep. You see him? I saw him, I can't see him now. <sighs> man, he was like three feet behind the bait. He's a giant, man. <sighs> He's a giant. He was tuned up, like he was, he wanted it. He chased me fast, like he came in hot. Fish, fish, fish. no way. That a boy. On the spot lock, let's keep tension on him. Keep tension on him. The boat's gonna turn now, because we're spot locked. How's it feel, have you seen it yet? I haven't seen it yet. You dirty dog, two bites in like two minutes. You can't see, it's dark down there. It is dark down there. I just hooked in. I lost one about two minutes ago, whiffed on the hook set, and just got into this one right after. Oh my gosh, now he's heading back to the back. Yep, get back here. Get more of the mortar. This fish is just taking me in circles right now. Oh my goodness. It's huge. It is a big fish. Still haven't seen it yet. You just don't know what it could be, man. Like, no, you don't. it could be a 40, 50 pound fish. Like, you don't know. No, you don't. It's, it's gonna be very, very large. We're going. No! That's heartbreaking. Take the time to rig up something like this, hey, with the treble. We can't, uh, like, losing fish like that. Like, that could, you have no idea how big that could have been. Like, yep. 
fish, 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 fish. I got a spot lock us. Blake is currently going through emotional tears for the fish he just lost. A minute later, I'm hooked up. You gotta feed these fish line. It's not worth relying on your drags. It's so sensitive. These hooks do not penetrate through these fish's mouths. That's three bites. Blake lost two back to back in two minutes. This is one minute later. That's three fish in a very, very short period of time. But I always say my favorite time for lake trout, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And we're in that window right now. I don't know how big it is. I'm taking it super easy on these fish. Blake was sitting back there, re-rigging his. After he lost two, I changed up my jig. We're using the swim bait jig, but we cut the hook off because you can only have one hook per lure. And I tied on a kind of a treble hook. And that's what this stuck on. That's what Blake was tying up when I got bit. It's just that one single hook, man. You just can't afford to lose fish out here. Number one, you're getting like four or five bites a day and you're just, it's just hard work. You know, you're casting so much. Secondly, any fish could be 50, 60 pounds. You just don't know. This is intense, absolutely intense. I want to see this. You can't see because it's not, it's cloudy. It's dark down there. If it was, I mean, we're in only in five, six feet of water. If it was sunny, you'd be able to see this fish and tell what it was. It's just magic. Late September, last day in September, I believe today, or maybe tomorrow is, I don't know, who cares, but late season, hands are numb. It's cold out here. It's windy. It's nasty, but I see him. That's a, that's a good fish, but big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. And the reason I'm kind of hand feeding this fish line is because I like to keep my drag really tight. Too tight where the fish, I don't want the fish to be able to pull it. So I'm peeling him, giving him line because when these fish, they, they're so powerful, they swim, they dart and they shake their head. I want to be able to reel down on that fish. If my drag's too loose and he's coming up and shaking his head, I'm not going to be able to reel down because my drag's going to be slipping and he's going to get slack line and get off. So that's why I like to keep an overly tight drag and just kind of feed him line with my hand. She is ours, baby. She is ours. She is ours. That's an adrenaline rush. That's what it's all about right there. Whew. That's three bites in a very, very short period of time. We're one for three, a little bit under average, but we're just gonna refine our, our tools here and it's gonna be a fun day. That's a heck of a start, a heck of a lake trout on a cold September morning. Look at that lake trout, guys. That is a fine, fine lake trout, heavy. Even though she's spawned out, she's still 16, 17 pounds. What a great fish. I love the colors on them this time of year. Isn't that cool? Man, are they special fish. Big heads, big jaws on them. What a fish. Let's get her back. There you go, girl. That's what I'm talking about, man. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We're gonna take a look at this lure because I think it's imperative to us catching that fish right now. When we care about something, it shows. To help protect these things, call on the knowledge and experience of a local independent insurance agent that you know and trust. Some things we just can't afford to lose. And that is why we exist. Because the worst brings out our best. Holden Insurance, Duluth and Superior. It's summer again at Marine General, and we're here to get you on the water. Kayaks, canoes, and paddle boards, water sports, knee boards, wetsuits, ropes, and leg vests, rain gear, marine safety, electronics of all kinds, rods and reels, trolling motors, rod holders, and all kinds of accessories for your boat, live bait, lures, and a crew that appreciates your business.
spring, shop the great selection of Lund and Crestliner fishing boats at RJ Sport and Cycle. Our knowledgeable staff is here to answer all your questions and help you get on the water. We sell both aluminum and fiberglass boats suitable for a variety of applications. Full windshield models, side councils, tillers, and more. We sell them all. Don't forget, we also carry pontoons. RJ Sport and Cycle is your leading Lund dealer in the area. Visit us in store or check us out online today. All right, so here's what I use here. So this is a, a swim bait head. Typically the hook comes up and around, one hook per lure. So I cut that off and instead of a single hook, we kind of have a treble hook trailer, barbs pinched of course, and I'm just embedding that right back here. For this, I just use 30 pound braided line. You could use 30 pound mono. Mono might be better actually, just for your shock absorption purposes, but whatever, we got braid going here. And that's all that is. Again, Blake lost two on the single hook. We lost a you know, fish like that. Um, it's, it's, it's somewhat common, so you just can't afford to lose fish this time of year. So I switched over to this and one for one. So that's kind of what we're doing there. Fish, fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. Give him, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Blake, that's huge, that's huge. Get ready, get ready, that's huge, that's huge. That's huge. Going back. Huge fish. Big fish, big, big fish. Huge. This is a big fish. Huge. Come on. Oh, this fish is just literally just taking me around the boat here. Oh, that's massive. That's big. That's big, that's big, that's big. That is big. a big fish. I don't, know, I don't want to reach. The colors on her. You can get her close. Pick oh. that, pick that, pick that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Dude. <laughs> as soon as it hit the net, it was out. It came off? Just like that. Oh my gosh. It literally went from so much pressure to nothing. Oh. Try net and lake trout. Two guys in the boat, one guy with the camera. 20, 30 pound fish. Oh. That's an adrenaline rush. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, that's a good fish. Talk about redemption right there. The biggest trout of my life. That's huge. That is huge. Oh man, that feels good. Oh. All right, don't mind the mess. It's time to show you how to rig a bait. You have two styles of plastics that we're using today. This is a Storm 360 body, a little bit more rigid. It's gonna have a tighter wobble. This is a Callens plastic. It's got a wider tail kick. Both are very effective today. Do the trout care? I don't think so. Um, it's just kind of more so just persistent casting, being in the right place at the right time where you, where you, when you're going to intersect these fish. So let's rig one of these baits up. Again, this is a Callens jig head as well. So we're going to thread this plastic on. And all you guys know how to put a plastic onto a jig head, I'm sure of it. However, what we're doing today, what we're doing differently is we're using treble hooks, not single hooks. So one hook per lure out here on Lake Nipigan. So we're taking our bolt cutters, we're cutting that hook off, gonzo. The hook is gone and we are putting a treble hook on here. Just because the hookup percentage is better, um, you just can't afford to lose fish. So we have one aught extra strong round bend trebles from VMC. These are brand new in the package. 
So we have to remember to pinch the barb on these, but first we're going to rig this up. So essentially I need to attach this treble hook to this body down here. So to do that, we're gonna use braided line. We have here 20 or 30 pound braid. We're just gonna cut off a chunk of it. That's gonna get us started. First, we're gonna tie this onto, where'd my jig go, right here? Onto the body of this, just with our classic, typical knot that we always use to tie braid, pull, and that's good. All right, so we just have a strand of line like that. We now take our treble hook, and again, this is imperative because you don't want this line leader too long. So we're just gonna take that, we're gonna put it through here, I am going to again tie our classic knot. You essentially just make an overhand, overhand knot and put the, the treble hook through it like that. Here is the most critical part of this whole process. Right now, if I were to pull the hook, this leader would be too long and I wouldn't use it. Pull this strand and the distance from your hook is to your swim body is not gonna move. It's gonna be perfect. Watch, I'll pull this. That makes that tight. Bam, look at that right there. That's perfect. That's what you want. That's how you attach one of these treble hooks to a swim body jig. Again, if we were not on Lake Nipigon, we'd gladly leave that hook right there. But um, right there, that's how you do it. That's a good bait ready to go. We're going to attach our cross lock snap to our rod right here. We're going to cast this. We're going to catch a trout. Go home, be happy. Fish, 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 fish. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. That's a good fish. Oh, this one's super yellow. This is a dream day right here, guys. Oh my goodness. Just slow rolling these big swim baits. Oh, that's a big fish. If you've never done this, like this is a drive to destination. It's just, it, nothing can compare. Nothing can compare. What else can you ask for in a day? A lake all to yourself and big lake trout on the line. It is cold, it is windy. We have clouds, then some sun peaks out, and then we have more clouds and more wind, and then the wind lets up. It's just changing conditions, but it's challenging conditions, tough conditions, but these fish are turned on, guys. They're turned on. Ah, she's shaking her head and coming up. Look at her, right here, right here, right here. Oh. What a time of year. It's kind of like the very end of our open water lake trout season. Again, Minnesota, Lake Superior waters of Minnesota, Ontario, and Wisconsin are gonna be closed here in the very, very near future. Lake Nipping is gonna be closed. The only thing that remains open is um, Michigan waters of, of Lake Superior. But again, it can just get so windy in October. This is one of our last open water lake trout trips of the year, and it could not be going any better. Where's she going, where's she going, where's she going, where's she going? She going back, she going back, she going back. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. I just ran 22 feet that way and 22 feet back this way in about half a second. I don't know how she didn't get off. There we go. She's ours, baby. She's ours. That's a challenge, netting your own 20 pound lake trout. But we got it done. Oh, I'm sore. I'm tired. I'm shaking. The adrenaline's flowing. This is a day of a lifetime. Oh, man. Look at that lake trout. Holy cow. Look at that fish. What a specimen. What a battle. What a memory. What a day. Look at that lake trout. Let's get her back in the water. Oh, incredible.
This week's health tip is brought to you by St. Luke's, the patient above all else. Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Lund, infectious disease physician at St. Luke's Hospital in Duluth, Minnesota. Here's a tip for preventing mosquito and tick bites. Always remember to wear long sleeves, long pants, and tuck your pants into your socks when going out into the woods or brush. Always do a daily tick check to make sure you're removing ticks promptly. Remember, a tick needs to be attached for at least 36 to 48 hours to transmit infections such as Lyme disease. If you do a tick check every 24 hours, then you will be safe. There are products on the market such as DEET that can prevent ticks and mosquitoes. You can buy DEET containing products that are 20 to 50% active ingredient. This is sufficient. Over 50% DEET usually just increases your cost without adding any additional benefit. There is also clothing you can buy that has 0.5% permethrin in the material. This will help prevent ticks and mosquitoes as well. This spring, shop the great selection of Lund and Crestliner fishing boats at RJ Sport and Cycle. Our knowledgeable staff is here to answer all your questions and help you get on the water. We sell both aluminum and fiberglass boats suitable for a variety of applications. Full windshield models, side consoles, tillers, and more. We sell them all. Don't forget, we also carry pontoons. RJ Sport and Cycle is your leading Lund dealer in the area. Visit us in store or check us out online today. So kind of what we're doing here, this is a, there's a point that sticks out. It's kind of a shallower shelf that sticks off here. And that's what these trout are, are holding on. And again, we identified this area from looking at Bing satellite maps. So um, yeah, the water is somewhat clear on Lake Nipigon here. On a sunny day when they take these satellite images, you can see shoals, you can see reefs, you can see underwater points. And that's what we did. This lake is not mapped and there's no contours on this. So you got to kind of utilize your available resources such as, as those. So what we're doing, we're just fan casting. Again, clear water means trout are gonna, if they see a bait, they're gonna probably come and hit it. So you just gotta kind of be impatient in your fishing and cast, 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 cast for the move, continuously move. There's no point in casting 10, 15, 20 times to the same spot. Um, just because if there's a fish there, he would have hit you on the first cast. So we're just kind of big, big long casts, really shallow water, these fish spook. Um, so cast as far away from your boat as possible and just, and just keep a tight line. So we're using straight braid, maintain the, the utmost sensitivity and we're feeling everything and just keeping a tight line and just waiting for that fish just to smack it. Um, you just gotta wait for it. It's kind of a slow, constant reel. No jerky, no pauses. If you pause, you're gonna snag up. That's how shallow we are. So just big long casts, eight foot rods where we can make these, make these long casts. And yeah, just kind of cruising around, using our bomb mount trolling motor to motor around over the shelf, constantly going over fresh areas um, that we haven't fished in 20 minutes, half hour. The shelf is maybe, I don't know, maybe 600, 700 feet by 400 feet. So there's, it, there's some area here to, to work, work, move around and work and um, always kind of try to stay on top of these fresh fish. So. Fish, big fish. Oh my goodness. Blake. Blake, that's bigger than anything we've had. What do you big, have? big fish. It's coming. Is it a big right? pike? I don't know. He's swimming right ready to run. Go, 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 go. You got to get back and get around the motor. That's too much power for a pike, I think. We still haven't barely seen this fish yet. We're not even 100% sure what it is. Whatever it is, it's big. It's giving me a run it for my money. Trouty. Oh yeah, it's a big trout. trout. Oh my god! Holy cow. That thing is giant. Look at that fish. That looks like a dinosaur. Look at how, look at that fish. Look at the character on that. 
You see that? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good fish. Good fish. Well, took a swipe at it. Came back for seconds. I ended up hooking them right in the the cheek, unfortunately, but sometimes it happens with trout, you know, they're just so aggressive and they swipe right at the bait. But still, that is the old fish. It's got a lot of character. A lot of character. Oh. <laughs> that's a fish, that's a fish. Oh my goodness, incredible, incredible. We were just lined up to do our closing. I cast it out, let my bait free spool to the bottom without even like thinking. Waiting for Blake to hit record on the button to say we're going home. I reeled up and my rod doubled over. This is a big lake trout. Today has been absolutely magical. The words just can't describe it. Our hands are numb, we're exhausted, we're frozen. We were about to head home and this big boy hit. This is a big, big fish. It's really big. She's ours, she's ours. That's a big lake trout. That's a way to end one of the most memorable days we've had on the water in a long, long time. Look at that lake trout. That is a long spawned out lake trout. How cool is that? So much character. That fish is 40 inches long all day long, but look how skinny it is. That is cool. That's unique. That's a fish of the year. I mean, it just shows you the, the timing right now. These big lake trout are up here shallow. They're spawning out. This fish completes this trip. What a memory. What a time. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.